This morning, we are keeping an eye on education. It's no secret that our country's educators are facing a crisis. Class sizes are growing and the teacher pool is dwindling. There's fear that students are suffering. But 10 TV photojournalist Carl Todd Hunter found one school where teachers aren't just staying, they're spending their lives there. We are here to prepare students to be the best that they can be as adults. Whether that's 20 years ago or today, teachers are still a huge part of that process. I wanted to start teaching ever since I was in second grade when I got to write on the board, literally. Yeah, I don't think I ever didn't want to teach, I don't know. Okay, I teach all the higher maths, but I teach everything from algebra one all the way up to calculus. She loves to joke that she came with the building. Well, I graduated from here in 1973. We were the second class coming from Fisher Catholic. This is my 50th year, but unlike most of my classmates, I just never left the building. Once I finished college, they offered me a job to teach. And so here I am. <laughs> 46 years later, I'm still teaching. Through college, I came back and helped with girls' athletics because we had started them when I was a senior. When we went into the gym, my friend and I, and asked Elaine McCullough to coach basketball, I mean, obviously the lady was on fire and she just made us escalate girls' women's sports here so quickly. Took over volleyball the second year I taught and I coached it up into the 90s. Um, but I also did JV basketball for many years, and I did track, and I did softball. And that's all we had for girls at the time, so I couldn't do anything else. I remember the first couple of years because I was teaching siblings of some of my classmates. Yep, you got it. Tan squared, theta equal three halves, and at this point, then, it's a calculator exercise. So when I first started teaching, we didn't have calculators in the classroom, so that really as I tell the students, ages me. And obviously we did not have the computers and stuff in that we have now in the classrooms. Miss Henry's been here for a very, very long time. She'll tell you that every single day before class and she does a lot for our school. She's very inspiring. She has served as an example of leadership, of teaching, of mentoring, of uh, hard work, of commitment. She's done so much to create the culture of our building. Every person that I talk to that I know went to Fisher, they always ask first thing, oh, is Miss Henry still there? Yep, still there. Every class is different, every year is different. I never teach the same every year. I never get through the same material every year. I just do what you need to do. She's really, she's one of the reasons that I can get up and come in every day, because she's, she's one of the reasons we all do it. I don't think I'd be necessarily teaching for 46 years if I weren't here. And I did have a lot of other offers, I just couldn't picture myself anywhere else. But I really didn't think I'd be here for 46 years. <laughs> it never occurred to me that I would be here forever. And today is Fisher Catholic High School's graduation day. It also marks 50 years since Kathy Henry graduated.